Hey guys, and welcome to the first episode of the Male Mental Health Podcast. Today I'm joined by Dale Watson. Now, Dale is a fellow uni student of mine. He's also studying PE and mental health. Dale, how are you going? Good, but funny that you should ask that actually, because that's exactly what I want to talk to you about. Um, I think that in Australian slang, that that greeting, how are you going? How are you, mate? That sort of thing has sort of lost its meaning along the way, don't you reckon? Because it is more than just a hello. It's a, it's a real hard-hitting question when you boil it down. Yeah, I agree. And recently when we had Are You OK Day, it reminded us to think that how are you going is more than just a flippant question. We've really got to ask, are you OK? How are you really doing? Exactly. And I think um, that really does come down to the fact that there is such a stigma and there is a stereotype behind young men like us talking about our emotions and asking these questions. You know, it can be uncomfortable and it can be awkward for some people. And there is a real stigma behind it. Yeah, I agree. And if we begin to be able to talk freely with men about emotions, and that'll break down that stigma and move forward that conversation of how you're going. Uh, Dave, we were talking off air before about how you caught up with your mate face to face and you asked him how it's really going. Could you just share that with our audience, please? Yeah, absolutely. So um, I recently met up with a friend. Um, it was a rare occasion where we were actually able to meet face to face and not just over Messenger or Zoom like we are today. But um, we met face to face and I asked him, you know, as soon as I saw him, how you going, mate? And he said, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. And I had to ask him a second time. No, how, how are you going? I, you know, I had to look at him and say it clearly. And he, he said, you know, I'm doing OK. I'm, I'm, I'm working. I've got my partner. I've got a roof over my head. I'm doing OK. But I miss you. I, I miss my mates. And it wasn't until that second time that I asked him that he really gave me a proper answer rather than just taking it as a greeting. And that's, that's what got me thinking about this. Yeah, that's right. We've always got to sort of ask it a second time just to get them to really deeply think about and grasp the question in its whole. Because face-to-face contact at the moment is very rare. and um, That's why we're sort of doing this video as a podcast. It's because it's our main point of communication at the moment. And it's just so relevant to be talking over Zoom. Because a lot of us will be hanging out with their friends over Zoom and talking that way. And some people find it easier to talk over like a media communication like this or texting rather than face to face. And that's okay because texting your mate is better than nothing. So if you can't get out to see them face to face, make sure you shoot them a text and ask them how they're really going. Yeah, you're right, exactly. Like um, even schools and have a look at us as uni students. Schools are at over Zoom calls now and it's all online. Nobody's face to face anymore. It's a very, re- it's a very rare and very unusual circumstance to be in. So this face to face communication, we, you know, we stro- we crave it. We need to get used to the online communication. We need to get adapt to this. We need to learn how to overcome and how to talk about these really hard hitting questions and these difficult topics over formats like this. Yeah, that's right. School is so isolated at the moment. It's just amazing how they're aiming to engage their students and get them talking. So I really want to put it back on the audience here, Dale, and just ask them a bit of a call to action. Get out there today and ask your mate how they're going. Set yourself a little goal. Maybe every second day or every third day, ask a new friend how they're doing and really drill down on them and ask how they are really feeling and ask about their emotions. Thanks for coming on, look, Dale. Have you got any final words? No, nah, look, um, it doesn't always have to be verbal is the thing. It can sometimes be you show them something or you display something or you send them a video or you send them a photo. You send, it doesn't always have to be a conversation because it can be uncomfortable and it can be awkward. Take, think about different ways, have a look at different ways that you can approach this and think about how you can overcome these uncomfortable circumstances. Take care. Thanks for the chat, Dale. Always good speaking. Cheers, mate.